my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing another reading for you guys this is specifically for those of you guys that currently have no contact with your person or the person of your interest you want to know what they're thinking what they want to express um, what they would want you to know at this present time this is going to be a timeless reading. So whenever you, you know, whenever you happen to see this video, uh, there is no time frame um, in regards to when this is occurring. Meaning, if you're watching this video and you're going through a situation where there's no contact, no communication, then this video is for you. Now, as you guys can see here, this is set number one with a circle. Set number two with the carriage, set number three with the airplane, and set number four with the helicopter. So I'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes so you can tune in and see where you're being called, which set uh, is calling to you, and we would go on with the readings, okay? So I'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes, and we'll take it from there. Okay, my lovelies, I hope you guys have made your choice. Let's get on with the readings. Give me one second while I clear this energy. Okay, let's get on with set number one. I'm going to pull the rest of the cards a little back just so we can go here in order. Okay, give me one second. All right, my lovely. So for those of you guys that chose set number one, let's get on with your reading. Now your first cards here is the page of pentacles, the sun card, and the moon card. Wow. Okay. Now the cards of your partner or person of your interest is the ten of cups, the five of wands, and the seven of swords. Okay. From what I can see, those of you guys that chose set number one, um, you and your person or the person of your interest are very opposites. You guys are polar opposites. Uh, there could be a lot of miscommunication because both of you guys have trouble communicating. It's almost as if both of you guys speak love language very differently. Um, with the Page of Pentacles here, I do see that communication will unfold. Um, unfortunately, it's taken a little bit more than what you expected or what you thought. Um, and again, I, I feel that there is definitely there's definitely a connection here but there is a lot of confusion around this relationship so i'm not sure if your situation is that you've perhaps spoken to your friends to your relatives um to people that are close to you you've spoken about your issues in the relationship and it's gotten to the point where it's affected other people have their perceptions, their ideas. Uh, it could even be that they're giving you advice, um, thinking that it's, you know, good advice, but it's almost advice based on their perception of the person. So this is kind of the typical scenario where you overhype a relationship uh, and you allow other people to like look closely at the situation uh, it's kind of like when we get upset and we start venting to our sister, to our cousins. Um, 
you know, what he's doing or what she's doing. And, you know, pretty much we're just a ball of emotion and you are expressing to them every single issue that you go through in the relationship where it almost becomes like they become very comfortable with opinionating about the relationship and that's where we have a lot of miscommunication that's where we have a lot of people getting in your ear or in your partner's ear um, even things that perhaps are not necessarily true so this is where we talk about rumors this is where I see a lot of people really like getting involved in your relationship and I think that at this point uh, that could be the reason why there's no communication it's almost like uh, the person or partner that you're interested in has the ten of cups initially uh, this was a very strong connection they were very excited about the future with you somehow along the way with the five of wands there is an inner struggle there is a lot of confusion going on with your person and then the seven of swords is people coming to them or expressing or even giving them advice that it's it's, it's not good advice or it's not advice to the best of your interest um so again there's a lot of like sneakiness going on in this connection uh, it could be other people um you know behind the scenes that are influencing the person that you're dealing with um so again what they're telling you here is communication is going to be key um if you want to continue on the pursuit of this connection because again i'm, I'm sensing whatever the situation is where you're at at this point where the reason why there's no communication is because a lot of people have influenced you and your partner um against each other now this could be rumors this could be things that uh they're just putting in their head or it could be that you yourself got too much into your head and started listening to what other people were saying about your partner so it almost created a blockage and it's almost a blockage as if like your your worst fears came to reality you started panicking you started worrying about um this connection or if they're being honest or if they're being truthful to you and on their side they're kind of experiencing the same anxiety the same worry um or even feeling like it's you the one that's keeping or hiding things from them so again i do see communication but i think that in order to be able to fully um understand each other or fully be able to want to continue on the pursuit of this relationship it's going to take um it's going to take a lot of poise you guys it's going to take a lot of effort on your part and also on your partner side as well and one of the things that they're telling me here is that you guys need to stop allowing other people to get involved in your relationship um when we you know like i said sometimes we get so upset that we start venting to our family members or friends. Um, and then we get over that, you know, that little bump on the road and we're perfectly fine with our partner. But you've already expressed to them what they're putting you through or what you felt at that point, And they're still holding on to that. So then next time you come around and you're venting to them again, you know what I mean? Like you're allowing them to get too involved in the relationship and that's when we have miscommunication that's when we have misunderstandings that's when we have a lot of people being all up in your business so again what they're saying here is you need to be uh more mindful about that now we have here wedding and romantic feelings so again i feel that with the ten of cups this was your partner was initially you know very interested in you or very connected they felt very connected uh and for some of you guys this could be that you are actually married and there's some type of uh, temporary separation going on or uh it could be that there was you know you guys were talking about the future and all of a sudden uh, they started pulling away and pulling away um, but what they're telling me here is that there is still mutual feelings here there, this relationship or this connection is still sal uh, salvageable, um, but it's going to take a lot of effort on both your sides. Now, your next energies here 
is hold your vision and work through your fears. So yeah, that's exactly what I was sensing. Um, it's almost like the feeling of, oh my God, you know, my worst fear just ha just happened. It just became a reality. Um, now, we have new moon in Scorpio, work through your fears. You know, Pluto return is currently affecting everyone. Um, and this is very connected to the subconscious. So what that means is, Maybe there's fears that you're holding on to, not just from this relationship, but from past experiences where you're not even aware that they're very cemented. Those fears are very real to you. And the moment you start feeling like you're losing control of your partner or like you're losing control of the situation, you go into this panic mode where you just can't stop thinking of all the negative scenarios that can happen without really expressing what's really like talking it out or holding on waiting for them to be the one to reach out because you may have the fear of you know you don't want to reach out and them reject you that type of energy what they're telling you is hold your vision so what that means is again put positive energy into this situation uh, regardless of how you may feel at the present time you may feel that time is very oppressing you may feel that, you know, time is slipping away and they're not reaching out. They're not contacting you. Um, the more you worry and the more you think about scenarios of why they're not contacting you, the more you're kind of uh, putting negative energy. And again, that of the feeling of like my biggest fear, you know, just just happened to manifest right now. Yeah, because you've been holding on to that or you've been thinking about that very constantly. So you have to surrender to this. You have to let go of the resistance that you're currently uh, putting out. Um, yeah, there's a desire for them to reach out to you. But all the while, you're worried and consumed that they may never reach out to you. And what you're doing is instead of facilitating that connection, that energy, that flow of energy, you're blocking it. So again, be mindful about that. Okay, my lovelies? All right, we're going to go next to uh, the second set here for a minute. Give me one second while I put these. All right, my lovelies, for those of you guys that chose set number two with the carriage, let's get into the reading. Now, your first cards here is the Emperor, the Two of Swords, the Queen of Swords, partner's cards is the three of swords the six of swords and the seven of cups okay wow this is um heavy energy you guys so those of you guys that chose set number two you may be dealing with an aries uh, I see air energy here as well aquarius gemini libra type of energy water energy here as well um what they're saying here is at the present time there is a feeling of there's for some of you guys i think that in this connection the fear of cheating is very strong so what i mean by that is i don't necessarily see that there was cheating involved although it is a general reading so for some of you guys it could have been that there was actual uh, cheating in this relationship but I feel that this has more to do with the fears of your partner so this could be experiences that they went through in the past where they're currently extremely guarded so it could be that there is for some of you guys it could be that you're feeling like you're you know there's no communication or there was a pulling away uh, because at this point you were very certain about what you wanted and it almost seems as if the moment it started getting a little too serious they start to pull away because there is a refusal of commitment here there is a refusal of I'm not going to allow you to have such control over me or I'm not going to allow anyone to hurt me because I see them extremely guarded here with the three of swords and the six of swords it's like they're coming out of 
a healing face where they were betrayed. They could have been cheated on. Uh, they could have felt like they were taken for granted. Um, and this is where they get kind of confused in regards to what it is that they want. So I see them very uncertain about this connection. Now, your energy is you're coming in with the emperor and the two of swords. So the emperor is all about structure and it's all about stability. With the two of swords, there is a fear in you that you're not going to find stability or that you're not going to find um you know, a long lasting relationship, or it's almost like a fear that every time you get into a relationship or you connect with someone, there's like a fear in you that sooner than later, it's going to fall apart. And it could be because you feel um, that that's what's what's been reoccurring in your life. Um, now with the three of swords, again, and the six of swords, it's like, they are walking away from a situation that uh, created a lot of hurt, a lot of chaos in their life. Um, but they're walking towards the Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups is options. This is talking about they're weighing their options. So when we're talking about the reason why they're not currently communicating with you could be because they feel like perhaps you were either taking it too quickly or you weren't taking it as serious as they were and the fear of rejection was too strong that they started weighing other options so this could be that they're communicating with other people it could be that they're entertaining other people um and again here with the queen of swords it's almost like you've gotten to the point of feeling this is what you want and you know so when we're talking about relationships, it could be that you felt certain about what you wanted at some point. Um, but now it's almost like, you know, the fact that they're not communicating, it could have put you in a situation where you're kind of standoffish now, where you're getting to the point of saying, you know what, um, I'm walking away from this or I'm not going to sit here and wait for them to make up their mind. Because the Queen of Swords is deliberately um and mentally you know trying to figure out weighing the options of are they you know are they putting in effort and if they're not i have absolutely no problem cutting that connect cutting that connection uh and walking away from it right because the queen of swords is very methodical when it comes to making decisions but the moment you make a decision you're set like it's set in stone and you've decided and you made up your mind and that's that um now if you are dealing with a specific air energy uh or an aries person um i feel that they're not being completely honest with you um you know if here's the thing what they're telling me is if they're using i cannot settle or i cannot give you you know, the commitment that you want, or I can't be as consistent as you would want me to be because I'm not ready yet because I've been hurt in the past and I'm still healing. Um, or I just, I'm too hurt that I just can't, you know, can give that to you. I feel that that's a cop out. I feel that they're not being, they're being very deceitful in that way because they're trying to still have you there all the while they are looking or weighing their options. Do you see what I'm saying? So I feel that what they're trying to say here is if this person is telling you that they need their space or that they're, or they're just literally not communicating with you at all, but their excuse in the, in the past has been that they were hurt and that they're not ready for a relationship. I feel that although it may be true, I feel they've already you know, walked away from that hurt. But I feel that that could just be like a cop out that they just want to continue weighing their options or dealing with other people. Um, but at the same time, they don't want to lose you. Do you see what I'm saying? So um, my advice for this is, again, if you feel that that's what they've came to you with, or that's what they've told you in the past, um, 
I would not necessarily sit there and wait for them. Um, I'm going to be honest. Um, because, see, all the while you're sitting here waiting for them to make up their mind or to reach out or to communicate, life is passing you by. All the while, they're still moving on with their life. Yep. Look at the cards you got right here. You have pay attention to red flags and past life relationship. The signs are cautioning you. So this is kind of like the energy of the person that uses the excuse of, oh, I've been hurt in the past and I don't think I'm ready or I don't think I have it in me um, to give more. You know what I mean? But they still string you along. They still want you to be there. You know, when they reach out, when they contact or when they text every two, three months, um, they still expect you to respond to that. So it's not that they're that they're not capable of, you know, wanting or being able to get in a relationship is that they're choosing not to. And past life relationship, you have known each other before. I feel that for some of you guys, this could be a karmic situation that you're dealing with. Um, a karmic relationships are very difficult because they usually start off very strongly. Um, and one or the other partner has a lot, a lot of soul expansion to do, a lot of soul growing to do. Um, and it's kind of like a yo-yo type of thing where... You break up, you come back, you break up, you come back. And all the while you've convinced yourself that this is a soulmate connection or that, you know, you guys love each other so strongly that you guys can't be without but can be, you know what I mean, together. Because it's so, it's just very heavy energy. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's a soulmate connection. What they're kind of showing me, it's more of a karmic relationship and karmic relationships are very difficult they're usually very toxic um so my advice to you if this is resonating with you start to live your life don't put your life on hold for this person because whether they come back and they you know try to make it right this time you still been working on you and focusing on you and living your life and it is up to you to allow them to want to come back into your life that decision is on you but if you sit there and wait for them and life is passing you by and they're moving on or they're trying to be with other people and it doesn't work out and then they come back around what was it fair to you no it wasn't because you put your life on hold for this person when they need to be sure that they want you in their life. And if they're not sure, you you shouldn't even, that shouldn't even be a question. So if you often ask yourself, you know, <clears throat> is it worth the wait? If you have to ask yourself that question, more than likely, it's not. Because you're putting your life on hold. You're pausing your life for this individual that clearly is not certain what they want. Now, your next card here is full moon in Libra and full moon in Aries. A win-win outcome is forecast. A fiery climax approaches. I feel that for a lot of you guys, new love is coming towards you. Whether you're ready or not, I feel that, you know, with this card of Libra, it's all about the scales. It's all about balance. And if your partner... Um, or the person of your interest has been doing their life and they know that you've been sitting there waiting for them or they know that you're still holding on to that hope, um, their expectancy of you being there is almost like to them in their head, it's like a certain, it, it, it's a certain thing. Um, and what they're telling you here is that the moment you put yourself First, the moment you start thinking for yourself and the moment you start looking out for you is the moment that the person that is right for you is going to step in. And I feel that for a lot of you guys, it's it's, it's coming very quickly. Uh, it could be a Libra or it could be an Aries energy. Um, yeah, I feel that it's... 
I feel you, for those of you guys that chose this, I feel you've been stuck on this person for a very long time. And what they're telling you is don't miss the opportunities that are coming your way. Uh, because the moment you miss those opportunities, they may not come back around. And you're going to sit back and wonder what happened with your life. Don't put your life on hold for anyone. For anyone, sweetheart. All right? Okay. Let's get into the next reading. All right, my lovelies, those of you guys that chose set number three, let's get into your reading. Now, your first card here is the Knight of Cups, the King of Wands, the Ace of Cups, Partners Cards, the Page of Cups, the Hanged Man, and the Eight of Pentacles. Wow, okay. All right, my lovelies. I feel that there is a very strong, very strong connection here that you're currently dealing with. Um, now, the cards that reflect your partner is the Page of Cups, the Hanged Man, and the Eight of Pentacles. There was a situation uh, that unfolded where perhaps they, they weren't expecting this connection um, to be as strong as it is. I feel that they're really, you've changed their perception about either love or about how they view relationships. And I think that you've challenged them in a way. With the Knight of Cups, this is, you know, you're very loving energy, um, very loving towards them, very, you know, maybe even very extremely affectionate. With the King of Wands, you may be dealing with an, uh, fire energy, Leo Sagittarius, um, Leo Sagittarius, Aries type of energy. I also see a lot of water here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, um, and Earth energy as well, Eight of Pentacles here. But what they're telling me here is that there is, with the Knight, sorry, with the King of Wands, I feel that this person really challenges you. And I think they challenge the way you express your emotions. It could be that you're overly emotional um, and they may not be as emotional. And it, it's like very difficult for them to understand like when you're upset um, because they have, like I said, they have difficulty tapping into their emotions. This could be a person that is, I don't want to say guarded, but they are very like, not in touch with their feelings. So they have difficulty processing that. And I think that right now, um, whatever the, the situation is of why you guys are not currently communicating, I see them really heavily missing you and thinking about you. And they will be putting effort in contacting you. I do have the eight of pentacles here. But I think that right now they're in a process where they need to really analyze how they're going to come to you. What I mean by that is, are they ready for a relationship? Are they ready for to take this connection to the next level? Um, so that's the reason why they're like really thinking about it. I feel that they're internalizing a lot. Um, and, and usually when I see the hanged man and the eight of pentacles, it usually indicates uh, when a person was certain about something it could have been that they were certain they didn't want to date right now or they were certain that they didn't want a relationship and then all of a sudden this connection happens or they realize that they do have strong feelings for you and now they're kind of you know their mind is kind of like tossing and turning because they're trying to internalize how do I go about this you know do I say I don't want to pursue this connection because I'm not ready for a relationship. And if that's the case, am I willing to lose to lose you? And I think that they're not willing to lose you. And that's the reason why we have the Eight of Pentacles. Once they get out of their head, once they finish internalizing what it is that they really want, they're going to choose the Ace of Cups. They're going to choose this love opportunity, this love offering, this love connection. And they're going to want to put forth the effort with the Eight of Pentacles. So um, 
I see heavy water energy. So for some of you guys, it could be that you yourself are a water sign or it could be that you are a very selfless type of person, a very selfless, not selfish, selfless individual. Uh, and I think that they are perhaps not accustomed to that or perhaps they've never dealt with the person that way. Um, so I feel that, yes, they're internalizing and they're a little bit in their head too much. But once they come out of that, once they come out of the internalizing, the internal dialogue that they're doing, they're going to be more certain and clear about when they come to you, they're going to come with you with an offer or with an intention of wanting to build something. Now, your next cards here is worth waiting for, and it is safe for you to love. Beautiful, beautiful card. And that's exactly the energy I'm feeling. Um, divine timing is at work in your love life. And open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Oftentimes, when we are on a journey of self-healing, of working on ourselves and healing all the past trauma and past difficulties in relationships, you get to a point where you become so independent um, that you kind of get in this state of mind where you're like, I don't need anyone. And I think that the person that you're dealing with could be in that situation where they felt that way for quite a while. And then boom, this connection happened and they're like, Am I ready for this? Am I ready to uh, jump in this 100% and, you know, put the effort? Or am I still not ready? Am I still on this journey of growth and, and, and working on myself? So I think that that's where the internalizing that they're doing is, is that that's more of the energy I'm sensing. It's not because they're running away from you or it's not because they don't care for you. It's more to do because they care for you to a certain degree that they're trying to look out for you. They're trying to keep themselves from putting themselves in a situation where later on it could hurt you if they were to change their mind. Do you see what I'm saying? So this is a very receptive, very caring type of energy that I'm sensing. So I think that uh, the, if there was if it's come to a point where there's no contact or there's no communication right now, I think that this was necessary because it's going to give you both um, more clarity in regards to what you really want and more clarity in regards to when you come together, you're going to be able to get on the same page and want the same things. Now, your next cards here is luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. And conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. Beautiful energy, you guys. Luck is on your side. Like, be patient with this. Be patient. It's unfolding. There could be certain things or certain blockages that you felt in this connection or some type of resistance. But I feel that in the ultimate result of this, it's going to only bring you guys closer together. So very beautiful reading, you guys. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let's get on with the next reading. <clears throat> All right, my lovelies, those of you guys that chose the helicopter, here we go. This is your reading. Let's get right into it. Your first card here is the lover's card. Wow. Two of cups. Queen of cups. Partner's cards, the Queen of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the Eight of Cups. Okay. You may be dealing with a Gemini. You may be dealing with Fire Energy, Aries, Sagittarius, uh, Leo. We also have Water here, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Um, eight of Wands. Okay. Okay. So what I'm sensing here is there is definitely a very deep, strong connection here. Um, with the Two of Cups, there's, you know, obvious there is very strong feelings that you have towards your partner. There is a lot of things that you're currently experiencing in, or that you're currently feeling uh, in regards to, you know, not being or how you're dealing with no communication right now. 
But the Queen of Cups tells you, you need to, you need to open your heart and have faith. Um, have faith in this connection, have faith in this relationship or the possibility of this relationship. With the Queen of Wands, we have two queens here. So I feel that the partner may still be dealing with a past lover um, or they haven't fully moved on from a past partner only because we have Queen of Wands here with the Eight of Cups. So the Eight of Cups is walking away from the past, um, but not after the Eight of Wands. So again, there, there could have been a situation where an ex probably popped up or they reached out to them or they tried to come back into their lives and they were unsure. Um, they were unsure or they thought about revisiting the past only to see if there was still some feelings there. And I think that doing so helped them to be able to close that chapter in their life. So for those of you guys that chose this, the last set, the fourth set, you may be dealing with the situation of the reason why they're not communicating is because there could have been a revisiting of the past that came into their life. Um, but I felt that they didn't do it as a dishonorable thing i feel that they just entertain the idea only because they wanted to convince themselves if they were in fact already ready to move on and the answer to that is yes because we do have the eight of wands here with the eight of cups so it's like quick communication it could have been through text it could have been um through email a social media type of thing but then realizing okay i'm not gonna go down this road i'm over it and I'm walking away from that. Um, now, if this is the other way around, meaning this was you the one that was entertaining the ex, I feel that the partner started to have a lot of insecurities. Even if you expressed it to them, not to make them feel bad, but to let them know like, hey, my ex reached out and, um, you know, we, you know, had a conversation or whatnot. It, it didn't sit well with them. Um, and I think that there was a lot of insecurities that started to come out. Now, this could be you as well. It could be vice versa. It is a general reading. But what they're saying here is that coming out of this, I feel that when they do communicate, because they will be communicating with you, when they communicate, I feel that they're going to be not sure but certain that they want this relationship with you, that they're ready that they are and don't be surprised if they open up to you and tell you like hey you know um the reason why you know i wasn't really talking or communicating with you was because you know this person from my past came back around and i thought there was probably still some feelings there and i didn't want to deceive you so i just you know backed away and tried to figure that out before I was able to close that chapter and to start something new. Um, now, if this is a situation where you've been with this person for a very long time and they have a tendency of running back to the exes, then that's a different thing. And what they're saying here is, yes, they're reaching out and they're communicating with you or they're going to be coming back to you. But if this is something that they often do, then this is a habit. And you need to stop that habit. You need to stop, you know, over giving, over loving, overdoing. Because if you overdo something, you're not like they're not going to acknowledge that because they're they're, you know, not acknowledging it as it is right now. So what they're telling you is you need to hold your power. You need to take your power back. Um. Like I said, this is only for those that are dealing with a person that continuously keeps dealing with ex-partners. Um, you need a different, a different approach to this because if you continue down this path, you know, it, when it's a habit, it's something you're going to be reoccurring, uh, going through that reoccurring theme. And where do you get to the point of saying enough is enough? All right. 
All right, let's pull out the oracle cards here. What they're showing me here is keep an open mind and engagement. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So I feel that for some of you guys, um, if this is a situation where uh, the partner pulled away um, because they were entertaining or because they were communicating with someone from the past, again, like I said, I feel that for the majority, it wasn't out of like, it wasn't to hurt you. I feel that it was more for them to be able to close that chapter in their life, to be able to acknowledge that they no longer have feelings for this person. And I feel that when they reach out, when they communicate, they're going to be certain about what they want with you moving forward. Um, now, for those of you guys that, again, are dealing with a person that has a tendency of doing that, then what they're telling you here is don't close yourself off or make it seem like this is the only person for you because what you're doing is you're settling. And when you settle, how can you ever want something stable or something that continuously keeps going to the next level if the person keeps entertaining people from their past? And like I said, this is only for some of you. It may not resonate with everyone, but if you are dealing with the person that often does that, where they entertain the ex-partners or that they're usually difficult to like pull away from their ex-partners, what they're telling you here is you need to keep an open mind and an open heart because love may be very closer than you think all the while you're wasting your time with this person. You can see up here we have Cupid, right? And the man and the girls over here talking, whatnot. But usually what this what this would indicate to me is usually love is closer than you think. So when I see that, it usually indicates the person that may be right for you may be right in front of you. Um, and they may be having feelings towards you but not expressing them. So this is a situation where it could be a close friend, someone that is around you that is interested in you but knows that you're dealing with this scenario or with this situation, uh, so they're not really expressing really what they feel for you. If you open yourself up and give yourself the opportunity, um, you're going to be surprised to find out that all along, the person that was right for you is very close to you, and this could be something that starts very, like it moves very quickly to the point of engagement or to the point of really taking it to the next level and perhaps having the stability you've never had in relationships, okay? All right. Now your next cards here is a time to give rather than take. And what do you need to release? I think that the message here is very clear. For some of you, if you're dealing with the person that often goes back to their ex-partners or for some reason you always find out about them dealing with exes etc you need to pull away from that type of energy a time to give usually indicates there is a fluctuating energy here that it's not balanced so it could be that this person has a tendency of overtaking overtaking your love your compassion your understanding and not really appreciating or it could be them, right? If if this is vice versa and you're the one that has a tendency of going back to exes and stuff, it, you need to come to the understanding. When we end certain relationships, the moment you open yourself up to entertain or to allow an ex-partner to contact you, don't run off of, you know, what could have been or what could be. Like, if it wasn't in their time, you need to move on. Only moving on and pulling away from that and completely ending those cycles are you able to go to the next phase in your life. And that means going into a next relationship that is going to bring to you more stability than you've had in the past. But you can't do that if you keep dealing with people that are dealing with ex-partners or you if you're dealing with ex-partners as well. 
What do you need to release? Do you need to release this person that keeps entertaining exes? And that every time an ex pops up, they disappear? Or do you need to release the fear of losing them? Because if you feel threatened every time an ex pops up, more than likely that person is not for you. Stop forcing it. All right, my lovelies, I hope that this gives you guys understanding. I hope it gives you some type of clarity. I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. I wish you guys all the very best. Happy holidays. I hope you guys stay safe and we'll see each other soon. Bye.